Forty, you must have been pleased with how you started that. That really laid the platform for the game. What were your thoughts on that game as a whole? Yeah, as I sort of started to mention before, I mean, full credit to the playing group. I know, you know, we, the guys are disappointed, and you know, when we're trying to um, survive in this high pressure, high stress environment, and then the more you lose, you also factor in uh, naturally a high disengagement, and you know. Um, that loss in Adelaide, especially the way we finished out that fourth quarter, um, you know, getting together as a group, um, acknowledging a few things. It just, again, this is the spirit of the group. Like, it doesn't matter, you know, what I say. It doesn't matter what outside noise there is. You know, the guys come to compete and they come to they play hard. And, you know, if something dries up, you know, we're trying to, you know, uh, lock it down more in, a, in, a, in another area. But, um, yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just I'm really happy for the guys that... Everyone should be able to sleep a little bit comfortably tonight in their own beds, knowing they uh, left it all out there on the floor and got the win. <coughs> the season series win over your Queensland rivals, how good does that feel with one game left to play in the final round? Yeah, I, I think every win, it doesn't matter who we play right now, just feels really good. So, um, I mean, full credit to Brisbane. They, they shot the hell out of that ball. We still struggled to defend them in, in, in different scenarios, uh, primarily in just straight, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchups. And they kept being aggressive again on the rim and they shot really well from the perimeter. And, um, you know, you know they, they didn't, like, with all the guys that they had and foul trouble and fouling out, they were relentless. They went deep into their bench and they just kept fighting. So um, it feels good in a sense that, you know, that was a real competitive game. Um, and, you know, a really... You know, tip my hat to to what JD's done here at Brisbane and trying to keep those guys, you know, tough. And that they were tough today. You mentioned players fouling out. You lost Keanu late in the game. How important was he to your performance this afternoon, especially on the on the glass? Yeah, he, I mean, Adelaide. He had 15 and 13 um, tonight. He had 10 and 9 in 17 minutes. And again, you know, the only reason he played 17 minutes was because of foul trouble. So, um, yeah, he's awesome. He, when he comes flying in, crashing, getting rebounds, his rim protection as well. Um, he's one of the legitimate, pretty much the only probably legitimate lob threat we got in our offense too. So he adds so many elements um, that we're relying on him. Um, yeah, I'm just super proud of him and, and, and the season he's having and the way he's going about his business. Scott. Got the victory today. How did you find it out there, and what was the intensity like, particularly down the stretch? Yeah, um, we were really disappointed about what happened on Friday night. Um, and like Forty said, we had a conversation, um, and we came out just ready to play. We sustained the energy. Um, then obviously they they fought back and came at us, um, but the guys was hustling. Um, I mean, you guys can remember that play of the uh, bull hitting the ball out all the way to the other side of the court, diving and just saving it right before he went out of bounds and Juke grabs it and dunks it. That was the fight tonight. Um, and you could just see it. It was completely different night and day between Friday and today. And the guys came to fight. So it feels good to win. Where did that fight come from today? That, where do you find the separation between Friday and, and today's performance? If I'm being honest, um, I think uh, our conversation was real to heart. Um, a lot of us took it to person, took it personal. Um, I feel like nothing's nothing's given in this in this industry. You got to go take it, um, and you got to play hard. You got to prove your point, and you got to get results. You got to win games. So we don't like losing. Sometimes the shit happens, but excuse my language. Um, but yeah, we just don't like losing. So the guys are the guys came to fight. Damn, I hope I don't get fired. Yeah, <laughs> no, you know, that's considering what you had zero <laughs> points last uh, against the 36ers to come tonight and have a double double and perform the way you have, how, how great is that a feeling for you personally to bounce back in the way you have? I just know I'm not a bum, um, honestly. And for me, it just the other night, it just I never felt like that before. Um, and I I don't want to I don't want to put it on nobody else but myself. Um, and I also don't think nobody else could fix it but myself. Like, you can have people talk to me and you can have all types of conversations, but I know who I am um, and I know what I'm capable of doing, and I just, I've been falling short. Um, even tonight, I shot the ball terrible. We won the game, but it, it just feels like there's been a lid on the hoop for me. So, honestly, I'm going to just continue to play. I'm going to continue to shoot those shots. Um, a lot of them feel good. I mean, I wouldn't shoot them if they didn't. I'm shooting it terrible, but a lot of them feel good.
And how do you think you're sort of gelling in? I know it's taken a bit with Taj being in there to sort of adjust to a new sort of role. How do you think you're finding that adjustment going uh, now? Um, I think Taj has a high IQ. Um, and uh, I I think I'm the one adjusting to how he plays a little bit more. So it's, it feels like it's a task, but at the same time, I like I like his IQ. I think he does the right things, um, and he's he's hungry to play the game, and he has a passion to win. So I like that aspect of him at all times. Um, and I'm just I'm just kind of taking the back seat and flowing with it. Honestly, um, he's just playing hard all game. You could just see through the fourth. Um, the little deflections and the steals. Um, and even every shot he takes, he feels like he's going to make. So um, I respect him in that aspect. And 40, mate, um, just with three on three for coaches' challenges. I know you can't talk too much, hopefully, about it, but <laughs> what goes into those thoughts um, when, you, when you make those challenges? And you're on an eight-challenge uh, streak as well. Yeah, um, again, a lot of it, I, I just rely on the playing group. Like There's a couple of times, too, where... Um, you know, you can see it from the sideline and you, you're pretty adamant on it and it's you, know, you call it. But, yeah, just sometimes the I always go... I try and go with the immediate reaction of, of the playing group um, and then I wait five seconds and then you can see the, the thought process where sometimes they'll challenge it and then they'll wave it off. But, no, if, if after five seconds, you know, Scott or Keanu or someone's still adamant that I should review it, yeah, let's review it and we'll back them. And, yeah, it was good tonight. Just lastly from me, you mentioned Pinder before. Do you think his energy is, is resonating with the rest of the team a little? Is it sort of rubbing off on them? Because a lot of people out there tonight were, were making Keanu-like roles, especially attacking the ball and, and getting on it at the, on the ground. Yeah, you know, to, to with Keanu too, like he... He, he absorbs energy, like he gives out that energy too, but he also absorbs it. So, you know, when you see Juke and Bull and, and Scott and Taj um, all up and about too, you know, he's that guy that just he can take the energy to another level. Um, you know, when, when we're running a bit flat, you know, we can try and look to him and, and, and bring it. But, yeah, you see him at his best when the, the playing group around him uh, are riding with that momentum. Uh, just one last me, uh, one for me, Adam. What, what do you put the matchup down to with Brisbane? Like, that's three, three games, three wins. What is it about the matchup with the Bullets that, that uh, helps you guys? Yeah, I don't know. I honestly don't know. I feel like there's been other, uh, there's legitimate teams out there where we go, okay, you know, we've got some matchup issues here. Um, you know, if they've got like dynamic bigs or, or um, you know, you know, shooters all spaced down the floor and, you know, we want to sort of pack it in a little bit, protect the room and, and close out shooters and you know, guys can have their night. But um, Brisbane's no different. I think Brisbane's got some real good dynamic bigs and they got some great shooters. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't have the answer for that, but I am appreciative of the wins, that's for sure. Any final questions? Thanks, guys. Thank you.